Yo, what's going on? What's going on? So we're gonna do a little quick little um little video, just it is what it is. Heading on down right now, you feel me? About to go to the lot and um good morning, you feel me? So we're gonna go into the habits of a successful trader and what makes somebody successful in the business. Just give me a second. <clears throat> Show y'all real day in the life shit, you feel me? Not too many cars is out here right now. Go Ferrari, Lambos, Lambos, Lambo truck. My bitch right here. So, so we just showing you, man. Yeah. This lifestyle is real. Gotta fix my keys. keys on my key ring so sometimes it's uh sometimes it's pretty hard to get to my actual key so i got so many damn keys so i'm about to drop this top too i'm gonna give y'all a real day in the life let me move this because i can put my um flip that around this is my daily driver this ain't no fake uh you know they got rap cap man they niggas be like no rap cap so hey no forex cap you know what I'm saying? No forex cap. So I'm about to uh, dry this joint. So we get, I'm gonna get started with this video too. We just doing a uh, day in the life. Like I said, man, we're gonna go over some habits on becoming a successful trader. Um, why successful traders literally just wait for their price to hit, wait, because waiting literally like, forex is a waiting game. A lot of people think the foreign exchange market that you have to rush and you, uh, like a lot of you guys are in a rush because you wanna make money so fast because you seeing others making money so fast but what's cool about the foreign exchange market is literally this is the market that rewards you to wait and at the end of the day yes there are scalpers there are intraday traders and stuff like that but like bro i could literally get in the market today and don't have to look at the uh the game again you feel me for a whole week let me open up my gate And like I said, I'm about to go drop this top. We're going to give you some real forex shit. Fuck all that. Fuck all that. This is what your mentors can't do. Because the lots only get in. What is that? 200, 300 miles for the whole month. <laughs> anyway, let me park this joint so I can drop my top, man. I'm like, you're not dropping the top. Like, man, why, why I'm not? Why I'm not? <laughs> why I'm not? What are you talking about? I'm going to let the top peel back off this joint. Mm -hmm. Let's see the top. It's in here. Transforming. Ooh, transforming right now. So I'm about to go to um to Starbucks for my girl. She wants some Starbucks this morning. So you can see the transformer transform though. You feel me? It's transforming right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's transforming right now. This on the, I think this is either Monday or Tuesday. But I don't know. It's like uh 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning. Doing my usual. I don't know what y'all do on, on Monday, Tuesday. But if you keep following me. I'm a deaf you have you living like this. Some California life shit. All right, so just continue my video. Like I said, we just, well, I just came to Starbucks, got a little banana nut bread for my girl. Some Starbucks, so habits that a successful trader does every single morning. All right, drink coffee. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But no, look, so I wake up and for me, it's all about clearing my mind. You know what I'm saying? So you see me out here on the drive right now. See me out here with the top peeled off on a Tuesday, you feel me? Like, I cleared my mind. I've already taken my trades this morning. And literally, I have to distract myself all day to not look at the market. Now, a lot of people, man, you guys can look at the market all day. But me personally, like, I hate looking at the market. So I just can't. You feel me? I literally can't look at fucking because it reminds me of work. It reminds me of everything that I tried to been, that I tried to escape from. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So just as like some of the habits and stuff that I would say do is wake up, check your charts. 
and then like if you have your markups already set then respect your charts you feel me you don't have to keep marking up your charts every five minutes you don't have to continue to do something over and over and over and over and over when you've already marked it up for the week and then you've already marked it up on the four hour you already marked it up on a daily so literally let your play play out you feel me i think that's where a lot of people um get stuck at you guys don't let your plays play out and that's what's stopping you from becoming successful you're you're i call it premature ejaculation you're trying to get out the game too early you know so um that's one thing and then uh i'm gonna take a drive and then um drop this off and come back downstairs and go take another drive and, if, and complete this video yo so the last video i recorded fucking stopped early shit cut off it was trash but morning routines for foreign exchange traders morning routines for foreign exchange traders so number one number one number one you want to take your morning easy what i mean is enjoy your morning enjoy your day wake up make yourself some breakfast make yourself some food you know what i'm saying have have fun the whole the whole premise of foreign exchange trading is literally freedom so if you guys aren't aiming towards freedom and doing more shit to make you become free then guess what you'll never be free you see what i'm doing at the beach enjoying myself smoking a j you feel me pissing people off day by day but shit it is what it is you feel me it's the life man y'all gotta shit live life live life number two number two number two watch for news see like me i'm not looking at msnbc and shit because that news is trash that news station is trash to me you feel me the news stations that i'm looking at what's up with you brother how you doing The new stations that I like is like my FX book. Yeah, you can take a picture. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Bro, take a pic right now. You feel me? <laughs> hey, what up? <laughs> so it's lit, man. So, um, you know, I always like being out here being an inspiration. It's pretty dope, you know? It's pretty dope. People don't usually see um these cars out too much. So, I mean, when they do see them, it's like, what the heck? And then they see this big-headed black kid in there, and they're like, what the heck, man? You got to be a star, man, or something. <laughs> they said, I need clout. Shit, man. And my car be chilling because it get hella attention every time I move, you know? But, hey, check it. So, number two, number two, number two. Um, Like I said, we already said check for news. So, my FX book is a way to check for news, man. That should be a good little news station for you to go ahead and look at. You could get my FX book on your phone as an app. And once you get this phone app, then I think that's cool, too. You just download it to your phone. You keep it up to date. All right? That's going to also do with number four, too, but I'll, I'll get to there later. Another thing you could do as your morning routine, literally just clear your mind. You know what I'm saying? Clear your mind and create your watch list for the day. And be like, yo, Ty, what do you mean clear my mind and create my watch list? Like, simple. Look, clear your mind. I, for me, I smoke. I play video games and stuff like that. That helps me clear my mind. Y'all hear me clear my mind. So after I clear my mind, I create my watch list. I know what I'm going to trade. Let's say I'm like, okay, I'm going to trade AU, Australian dollar versus US dollar. Okay, but then I look at its correlations. Then I look at EU. Then I look at Australian dollar, Japan yen. Then I look at J, uh, GJ. You know, I start looking at all these correlated pairs and stuff. So I create my watch list for the day. I create I create my watch list and I already know, hey, what I'm going to move in. Sometimes you could do this process at the beginning of the week and this will literally help you tackle the whole week. You know what I'm saying? You can be, you can have a weekly bias on what you want to do and where you want to go. And what I like about Kylie, not even to break the video, is like, if you look out, so many people are just surfing and having fun this morning, man. This is, this is freedom right here. This is what people like to do, man. Surf, have fun, you know what I'm saying? And just, um, just live a California life. And I think you guys, I mean, it's expensive as fucking Cali. I ain't even gonna flex. A lot of people that come out here, man, they start moving towards San Diego and areas like that, man. But out in this part, this part of the coast, man, is really expensive out here. Um, and that's what it is, you know? But uh, look, check it. So number, we did number three. I was creating a watch list. Number four is setting alerts. I keep putting my phone right here because this is where my, my dash is so I can really just let it sit, you know what I'm saying? Or, uh, fuck it, I still got away. Usually my girl be holding the phone, so, <laughs> you know, let me put this right here. Let me put this right here. So, look, so, Number four is creating alerts, right? So you want to create an alert. Yeah, let me go ahead and spark this up real quick. How's it going? How's it going? <laughs> well, just about. It's a 08, but I mean, we kept it in good condition, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thank you, man. Appreciate that. I'm a lady. I can't afford one. I want to lift one. Yeah, that's that. That's that teak. The teak, that's what we got. People walking up to the car, just making videos and stuff this morning, man. Yeah. No, yeah. How's your morning going? Good. Okay. Sweet. Okay. You got a cup of coffee. You're doing, right? <laughs> You're doing it right. You're doing it right. Okay. You're doing it right. Somebody's gotta go. Over. <laughs> I hear you, man. Sweet. Hey, thank you. Thank you. 
you know, so that usually happens every time we out, man. So that's something um, I'm kind of used to just, you know, that's why I keep my car chilling most of the time. But yo, so number four, credit alert. So me always like setting like price alerts up and down. What's going on? Tell me, does it have the umbrella in the door? Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, man, you have a good morning. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. So, you know, day in the life. We give you the we give you the real deal, man. But check it. So you want to create alerts. Me, I usually create like price alerts either above and below the price I want to get in. So I already know the price I want to get into the market. Okay, I already know the price that I want to get to the market. A lot of people, you guys like, yes, we read candlesticks, yes, we do all of that stuff and stuff like that too. But I already know when I want to get in. I already know when I want to exit. And that's a part of my plan for me knowing, you know, when I want to get into the market and when I want to get out. All right. So for you guys, set alerts, set alerts at your price. You can make mental alerts to know, okay, I'm getting in at 169, 200. Okay, either I'm buying at that price. It, at at 169,000, if the price is showing me something bearish, then I'm selling at that price. But you see, I have my price in mind, yes. But then also I'm looking at uh, price action as well, as in what these candlesticks are doing. Because if, even if I feel like I'm a buyer or seller at a certain price, if the market doesn't have a candlestick that is printed, that's actually that i can read like okay this is a this is a bearish engulf and this is you know three green uh three green soldiers showing me that it's going to be a bullish trend this is three black crows showing me that it's going to be a bearish trend you know if it's not giving me these patterns if it's not getting me no, giving me those signals then what do i do even if it gets to that price i'll literally just wait for it to give me the signal and then go on the signal that the market is giving me all right you're like yo that was that was nice tea like on oh god you feel me and then number five um be patient like 90% of this foreign exchange game is patience, guys. 90% of the foreign exchange game is, is patience. The other 10% is the execution. You need patience because let me tell you the truth, man. My J is like windy over here, so. Feel me? It's hard to spark this shit right now. It's so windy out here. I got the top off and stuff, and I am by the beach, so, you know. But look, patience will literally make you more money than imaginable a lot of you guys there's this saying called fools rush in so don't be the fool that rushes in you know what i'm saying fools rush in please don't be the fool that rushes in a lot of you want to trade off of what you think and see this market isn't about what you think because forex doesn't care about what you think we're only reading and re we're only reading and understanding the market and then reacting to what we see literally what we see we're moving on what we see you guys can't move on anything else other than what you see and i think that's what it stops a lot of people from becoming successful in the foreign exchange market is you're trying to move too early you want to move on what you think oh i think it's going to rain today and then you walk outside and it didn't rain but you thought it was going to rain because you looked at the clouds you feel me shit it never rained you should have checked the weather you should have looked at more signals you should have had more confirmation you feel me so you wore all this hot shit out next thing you know it turns it to be 90 degrees on you. You like, damn, I should have checked the weather. Well, maybe you should have checked the weather, you know? So, man, just enjoy myself. Like I said, I'm at the beach promoting this Forex hoodie. Feel me? It's a richer area over here. So, a lot of people, you know, um, we charge, man. This is Forex, you feel me? So, got to, man, especially for the people who really trade. Y'all know what it is. Some people are walking their dogs right now. So some people came to the car. We just, you know, have fun, man. Enjoy life, live life. And uh, just keep making dope videos like these. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to like, smash that like button. Matter of fact, YouTube loves when you guys smash that like button. So smash that like button, guys. Smash that like button. And then make sure you hit that subscribe button too. And please turn on that bell. Turn on those notifications. Because you don't want to miss videos like these, baby. Now, it's your boy, Ty. You feel me? And I'm out. Peace.